Welcome to Modern Microscope Company. I'm Bobby Martin, and we just got a new camera in, and I would just like to show everyone, uh, our YouTube viewers, how easy it is to get one of these digital SLR cameras with one of our microscope adapters set up on your computer and start taking pictures. So we've got the camera, uh, we've got an installation CD, so this is where we're going to start. This CD comes in the box from Canon. There's a lot of software on it, but there's really only one application that we need to install. Set up. I'm installing this on a Mac. We could just as easily do this on Windows. Uh, it, the software works basically the same way on both computers. It's just as easy to install either way. So we are in the United States. Next. We're gonna, instead of easy installation, we're going to do custom installation because, as I say, there's a lot of software on there that we don't need. So we're only going to get EOS Utility 3. We're not going to get any of the rest of this. And next, install. Yes, we agree. Um, okay, I guess I need a password to install it on this computer. Start an installation. It says EOS Utility 3, software for controlling the EOS digital camera from your computer. Now, if you have a new camera, you may want to register now. I'll say you can register later. Okay, and finish. So I think we're done with that. Down here in my software bar, I should have EOS utility now. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm not going to use the lens that comes with the camera, but when we provide uh, these camera packages, we provide them with the lenses so that you can use the camera as a standard camera. But for the microscope, you don't need the lens. You'll press the button, take the cap off. Uh, this is one of our adapters. This is our MD SLR adapter, and the bottom tube I have on it is a dash BX for the Olympus BX microscope. So this uh, has a Canon T mount on it that we'll bang it on, red dot to red dot. Click, secure. I'm going to use an Allen set screw. Take this photo port cap off. I'm going to put the camera on. I'm going to set the camera control knob to P for program mode. And then I'm going to plug in my USB cable to my computer. All right, turn the camera on. The computer should see it. And launch the OS utility. Or US utility three. Choose a remote shooting. And then I get a window over here. And I'm going to choose this live view shoot. This is my live window. I can make it bigger. So this is what I'm seeing under the microscope right now. I can do a white balance. I don't really need to. It looks like it's already good, but there's a white balance eye dropper here. I can name it if I want to and save it. I'm not going to in this case. Just say OK. Uh, this should be white. And it 
is and uncheck the white balance eyedropper. At this point, if I want to, I can close this tab. So that I just have a basically full screen live image. I can tell it here where I want images to be taken when I capture them. So here I've chosen, uh, I guess the default is my pictures folder, and that'll be fine. Um, sometimes I like to right click here and put my ISO setting to something like 200 instead of auto, but you can choose that as you like. This is where you would choose uh, the resolution up to 6,000 by 4,000 pixels and for this particular camera, the T6i. Um, preferences, I can link the software. Uh, to some other piece of software. For instance, uh, let's see if I click register. I have Photoshop Elements on here, so I can browse for that. In applications. If I was on Windows computer, I would just go to C Drive and Program Files, and I'll do the same thing. So I'm going to find Adobe Photoshop Elements. Okay, so it's linked. So now every time I take a picture, it's going to not only save the image, it's going to open it in Photoshop. There's a box here. This box, I can move to any area that I want, and I can magnify what's in that box five times or ten times. And what that allows me to do is to critically focus on an area of interest. Here's magnified, here's the one back. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and take a picture. So I'll click this button to trigger the shutter. It takes the picture, gives me a preview image, and it's going to launch Photoshop since it wasn't already open. And it's going to bring the image up directly in Photoshop or whatever other piece of software uh, you want to link it to. And there it is. Let's see. So this is a 24 megapixel image, and it's really beautiful. That's all there is to it. We have MDSLR adapters for all major brands of microscopes. I've got set up here a Micron, an Olympus, a Leica, a Zeiss. We support microscopes, Modic, Hubitz, um, lots of different microscope models that you can see on our website. And that's all there is to it, so thank you for watching.